Hi, this is Pastor John. Thank you for joining me today again for a little devotional. I'm reading through the story of uh, Jonathan and David and their friendship. And it's an amazing thing that Jonathan did. It's a great example for all of us. We often think of how great David was, but Jonathan was something else. Um, Just reading from that passage in 1 Samuel chapter 20, starting in verse 30, Saul's anger flared up at Jonathan, and he said to him, You son of a perverse and rebellious woman, don't I know that you have sided with the son of Jesse to your own shame and to the shame of the mother who bore you? As long as the son of Jesse lives on this earth, neither you nor your kingdom will be established. Now send someone to bring him to me, for he must die. And then, of course, you've got Jonathan's reply here. It's an amazing thing. Why should he be put to death? What has he done? But Saul hurled his spear at him to kill him. Boy, Saul was determined. Then Jonathan knew that his father, his father intended to kill David. Jonathan got up from the table in fierce anger. So Jonathan got angry, but his anger was a righteous anger. On that second day of the feast, he did not eat because he was grieved at his father's shameful treatment of David. Jonathan was the heir to the throne. He had every right to claim the throne, but he saw the hand of God on David's life. He knew David had been the anointed one and he was going to be king. And Jonathan, in his relationship with his God, decided to, instead of fighting against him, he would join him. He would become his best friend and support him. And of course, his father hated that and wanted to even kill his own son, Jonathan, because of that decision. You know, it's amazing here. We've got a life to live. We have opportunities around us. And God asks us to give up everything for him. And then what he does is he asks us to bloom where he plants us. He asks Jonathan, Bloom where I plant you. You're to be David's friend, and you're to support him and strengthen him, come alongside of him. And Jonathan did exactly that. He bloomed as a plant where God had placed him. Instead of becoming this weed, what is it? One person said, a weed is something that grows where you don't want it. (laughs) So, yeah, instead of growing where he knew God had not, placed him in line for the throne, he grew where God planted him, a friend of David's. And so we have choices every day. Bloom where God has planted us, or try to fight to have our own way of life, our own things in life, things that maybe are rightfully ours, with the money we have that we earn with a great job, or or just anything, even a position within family and who we are. Maybe you're firstborn, or I don't know, I can think of a lot of different things where God has called us to be humble and to bloom where he has planted us. So my question to you is, where has God planted you in this life? Where has he planted you right now? Uh, Because I can almost assure you that he's planted you somewhere and he wants you to bloom. He wants you to grow and to support and to encourage and to love the people around you. So bloom like a flower today, and I know that God will use you wherever he plants you. Have a terrific day in Christ.